Okay, this one's on backup heat. Backup heat is used in most uh, heat pump systems uh, in the northern tier uh, and some of the southern tier too because the heat pump reduces its uh, BTU output as the outdoor air temperature drops. It's kind of backwards. You need more heat when it's cold, but heat pump gives you less. So what we do is we put in backup heat. Now I live up in the northern tier, so backup heat is 100%. That means the furnace, the electric furnace, or whatever furnace you have, gas, oil, whatever, has to be able to heat the structure without the heat pump operating at all. Many of the heat pumps were put in with electric furnaces because it's convenient and it's easy to uh, to rig the backup heat so it'll work properly. What we usually use here are two-stage thermostats. A two-stage thermostat is going to turn on, in this case, is going to turn on the heat pump as a first stage heat. When the structure temperature drops fast enough that the heat pump can't keep up with the load or the temperature in the structure is raised more than two degrees. Okay, if I went in there and I turned the thermostat up five degrees, I'm gonna get backup heat. So that's backup heat. It's going to come on with a second stage. Like I said, that's about two degrees below. So we're going along and it's uh, 35 degrees outside. The, hap the heat pump's happy as heck. It's working, it's kind of efficient there. Uh, but then the temperature starts dropping because, you know, it's cycling on and off just like it normally would. This temperature starts dropping. As that temperature drops, of course, the BTUs coming out of the pump drops and structure needs more BTUs put in. So if I set it at 70 degrees, it drops to 68, the backup heat comes on. Okay, that backup heat turns on and assists the heat pump. If it's electric heat, the backup heat and the heat pump will be on at the same time. So the heat pump is giving you high efficiency, the backup heat is assisting to bring the structure temperature up. Now at some point you will probably turn the heat pump off, the thermostats, most of them anyway, have a uh, switch on them where I can switch to emergency heat or supplemental heat. We called it emergency heat for so long and then everybody got scared and thought it was a big emergency if they had to turn it on so they didn't turn it on. And so we started calling it supplemental heat. Well supplemental heat may be viable, only supplemental heat, may be viable when the temperatures get low enough that you know you heard me talk about this guy that the duct temperatures were too low and he didn't like it uh, and what i tell customers is if the duct temperature gets too low gets low, where it feels uncomfortable switch to your supplemental heat that way you you're comfortable you're not feeling cooled by the air coming out. The heat pump has lost a lot of its efficiency. It doesn't produce anywhere near as much heat as it was before for the amount of electricity put into it. So it's, uh, it's lower and the backup heat is there to pick it back up and keep the structure warm. Okay, that's about it on this one.